All right, everyone, thank you for joining FemLogic AI, where today we're gonna to get to go 101 on generative AI, specifically ChatGPT, and how you can use that in your daily life. I know you've heard all about it, but the bigger question is, what does it mean to you? And um, is it relevant to you? So let's get started. All right, to get started with ChatGPT, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go out here to your openai.com. So openai.com is the company that owns ChatGPT and just built it from ground up. And so they have other products as well, but ChatGPT is the one we're gonna talk about today. So open API, then you're gonna go over here to ChatGPT and click try ChatGPT. When you click try ChatGPT, Chat Chat excuse me, it's gonna come in here and then you're gonna say, all right, uh, if you already have an account, you can log in. But today we're gonna start brand new. So I'm gonna go to sign up. Now, like with most things today, you can actually sign up with a your Google account or your Microsoft or your Apple. But for right now, I'm actually going to use a email address that I have separate so that I can create a new one. It's gonna ask me for a password. I'm going to give it one. All right. I'm going to click continue, make sure I hit all the stuff in there. I'm going to say, go ahead and save this password for right now, because I like to save them. And it's saying it sent me an email. Well, I already have this email open, so it sent me an email. So it says, all right, verify your email address. And so I'm going to click verify my email address. All right. Tell us about you. I'm going to say I am Shauna Sprague, and you guys are going to get to see how old I am. That's okay. I don't mind. All right. It's going to say verify your phone number, and I'm going to – so you will have to put your phone number in here. And it's going to send me a verification code for the two-factor authentication. I'm sure you've experienced this before where on your phone it comes in and it's going to say, all right, let's see. Let's see. It is It's going to give me a code, and I just put in that code. All right. And then it automatically goes back there. Perfect. All right. Now you were signed up for ChatGPT. So it's that simple. Now, questions that you're going to have here is, ChatGPT 3.5, ChatGPT 4.0. So this is a free account. If you do pay for the upgrade, you get the upgraded ChatGPT 4, which is a larger model size. So it's also faster. And from time to time, the free version will give you a message saying that there's too many people on it and it cannot you know, accomplish your request. So you may be put in a queue to wait or have to come back. So those are things to think about. So for about $20 a month, you can sign up for ChatGPT4 at the time of this video. Personally, um, I think the free account will do what most people want it to do. If you do seem think you're going to use it more than, and you need that extra capacity and that extra uh, time saving, that's something to consider. But let's start. All right. So the thing we want to do here is I want to say, all right, I want it to do me something that's time saving. So Labor Day is coming up here uh, while I'm filming this video. And so I'm like, you know, I would really like to have ChatGPT. I'm going to say, write me an email. And it's got some nice little, um... okay. So what I want ChatGPT to do is write me an email to my U.S.-based employees about Labor Day. Please include a short paragraph about what Labor Day is and then thank all our employees for their hard work Make sure to include a funny tone and an encouraging message so that they know to enjoy their time away time away from the office with family and friends. So let's just see what ChatGPT says. So when I come in here and write Jet, I usually just you know dump out ideas in there. Um, uh, I'll say also add emojis. Also add emojis for fun. All right, I'm gonna click enter and we're gonna time it. See, that is roughly all right. It looks like about seven seconds there. It came through and it comes up and it's pretty good. All right. It says, Dear company family, as the summer starts to gently fade, we find ourselves at the doorstep of Labor Day. 
to kick back, relax, and celebrate incredible efforts for each and every one of us brings to the company and family. I like this. Labor Day, for those of you who might be wondering, is more than just a long weekend of barbecues and sales. It's a day dedicated to honoring the hard work, dedication, and contributions of workers across the nation. It's a time to take a step back, take a deep breath, and give yourself a well-deserved pat on the back. You've been hustling, innovating, and keeping the company spirit alive. And for that, we are truly grateful. So we appreciate that. So as we appreciate approach this day of relaxation and appreciation, we want to extend a heartfelt thank you and, a, and this all the sweet smiles and late night caffeine fueled brain sessions. Thank you for being part of this incredible company. Now, this is awesome. So I think they did a really great job with this. Um, you know, they, this would have taken me 20, 30 minutes at least to come up with this. Um, you know, I would definitely not um, copy and paste this. Clearly, I'm going to have to put the company name in here. Um, I would just reference our team. You know, you could go back. And so, but what if I didn't like this? What I would say, um, can you add more emojis? And, and I'm going to spell it wrong just to see what they do. So let's see. Can you add more emojis and um, offer some local events? that are taking place this weekend. And this is actually a trick because ChatGPT does not connect to the internet. So it should not be able to give me local events that are happening this weekend. So let's see what it says. So it comes up, 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 up and it is generating. You see these three little dots down here, thinking, thinking, thinking. And so it'll actually, so this is what we mean by when you have this deep learning, you can actually build on the layers of information. So it's going to add additional emojis, hopefully. <laughs> and it did. So when we go down here, we look and we say, okay, it does. It has actually doesn't have that information. So here's what it did. And so I think they did a really great job. It likes, so I did it. It added in some more emojis. So now there's one on each. There's one here. Um, I can make some edits here, but it gave me information on like event details, so event one, two, three. So ChatGPT is actually not able to look up those events because it does not connect to the internet, so it cannot answer present data. It can only use the data that it has. So um, that is something that is coming in, that is in ChatGPT4 and is coming probably eventually to all. And there's many um, networks, BARD does connect to the internet. Um, however, you do have to be careful because as we all know, the internet is not always the 100% accurate you can find a lot of contradictory and incorrect data out there. So um, my advice on all of this stuff that ChatGPT is generating is to make sure you read through it, make sure it sounds like you, it's what you want it to feel and look you like, and then um, make sure that you fill in any details it gave you in here. But I do like how it's set it up for me. But what I would do with this is I would copy it and I would paste it into my email and then I would just make the adjustments I needed and send it out to my employees. And so I took, uh, that's a big time saving and that's 100% free. So I'd use the free account. We set it up and um, start to finish. Uh, this video is going to be less than 10 minutes. So not a bad for, uh, you know, 10 minutes there and you're going to save a ton of time. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, if there's anything else you would like to learn, uh, we're always open to ideas. You're going to see a lot of uh, great stuff coming from us as we move into more complex uh, topics and show you how to automate and innovate your life and save that time for something that brings you joy. Have a great day.